Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the Intermediate Data Analysis in R tutorial series. So today we will be looking at the sliced function within the dplyr package. So you can use this function for selecting rows, maybe like subsetting them or duplicating them, like all those kind of things. It's very handy. So for that, let's first call our package and also create a sample data frame. So it looks something like this with three columns for location, trees and heights. And we'll be checking out various functions related to slice. So there are a lot of inbuilt functionalities. For example, slice head gives you like the first row of the data frame. Similar way we can use the slice underscore tail for slicing out the uh, last row. Yes, yeah, slice. Yeah, so you get the last row of the data frame. So yeah, if you see, this is a final call a row here. Similar way, we can also do things like finding the uh, minimum or finding the maximum. So you can just like get those rows out of the data frame. So and you, we already mentioned about the pipe operator. So it's just a sequencing in. So for example, like in this case, we have the data frame and we are like trying to get the row with the minimum height value. So if you run this code, we get uh, mangroves in their height because that's the minimum here. Similar way, we can also find the minimum and maximum for different groups. For example, here I am grouping things by trees. So we have two kind of trees here, mangroves and neem. And we will be trying to find the rows with minimum heights for each tree species. So if you run this code, we get that for mangroves, it's three and for neem is 10 here it's repeated two times because we have two minimum values if it was only one minimum value we will get only one so that's pretty much it and we can also do things like we can slice things based on a particular number so for example here when i give n it just shows that it's the final row number similar way we can also slice from the seventh row to the final so if you do that you get the final three values so here we have a total uh, nine rows and here when we give seven to n so it gives us seven eight and nine so that's the result here similar way we can also extract values from the friend so in this case we will give the negative instead of five to n we will give negative five to uh, negative n so when you put negative n that is like instead of starting from the bottom it will start from the initial value so if we do this we will get the first four rows so because it's minus n will be the one and till minus y so it will be like the first second third and fourth similar way we can just do like normally like you can slice from one to three and it will give you the first three values well, that's all for now. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're looking into more R-related data analysis videos. Till next time, ciao!